This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitao. Leading presidential candidates William Ruto and Raila Odinga have stepped up their campaigns in a multi-pronged strategy to win power in the next week's polls. The two are employing conventional campaign tools but have also resulted to dirty tricks including propaganda, fake news and disinformation. Analysts say the direct involvement of outgoing president Uhuru Kenyatta has heightened the stakes in the polls. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. Deputy President William Ruto and a section of government officials have clashed on hate leaflets circulating in parts of Rift Valley as police chiefs meet to deliberate on the security situation. On Monday, Ruto's team claimed the National Intelligence Service NIS, was behind the circulation of hate leaflets. But Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho appeared to trash the claims, saying elections cannot be won through coercion and fear mongering. As Mueller Moja presidential candidate Raila Ding on Monday said Deputy President William Ruto's insults directed that President Uhuru Kenyatta are a sign of someone who has sensed defeat. The ODM chief said the DP has realized the ground has shifted and is now busy looking for scapegoats to milk public sympathy. He told Ruto that the president is not a candidate in the next week's election and should be left to retire in peace. Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha on Monday directed schools to release learners to pave way for the August 9 general elections. There are teachers who act as polling clerks, returning officers, deputy presiding officers and presiding officers. According to Independent, Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the schools listed need to be marked. Teachers, especially in boarding schools, will need ample time to remove students' belongings from places which will be assessed by voters. The court has temporarily stopped the burial of a senior state prosecutor who died last week pending a hearing of a case filed by his estranged wife. Purity Nyawira Muireidi moved to court last week and secured orders barring Chiromo Mochari from releasing the body of Frederick Ashimosi. Until his demise, Ashimosi was an assistant director of public prosecution attached to the training institute. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.